guys welcome to vlogmas day 19. sorry i'm a little bit congested today um i'm kind of sick still actually like i felt it go away and now it's coming back so i'm like mm. but i think it's because it's getting colder again and whenever the weather changes i just get all today i am going to do a couple of things but first uh, what we're doing here right now is I'm filming a little brow tutorial for you guys I get a ton of questions about my eyebrows um, how I do them what I use for them yada 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 um, first and foremost I've never had my eyebrows waxed um, unless I've done it myself and I've never had them threaded or anything like that so in terms of brow maintenance I just tweeze my eyebrows um, <clears throat> I have been through part of why I wanted to share this video um, I have been through many trials and tribulations with my eyebrows I have tried the swimmy little sperm eyebrows which I will try and pop a picture of up here <laughs> seriously they look like sperm tadpoles like it was a bad time I was young I was dumb and then I've also tried the really furry Brooke Shields eyebrows which Brooke Shields has <laughs> awesome eyebrows but I'm not Brooke Shields so she can rock that when I tried it was just a failed attempt and I looked like I had little caterpillars on my face so <laughs> I feel like I finally found a happy medium after years of trial and error um, so since you guys ask me about it all the time I figured I would include a little brow tutorial today so if you would like to see that please keep watching or if not fast forward to the rest of the video all right so first things first is I'm gonna take this is like a three-step process um, I'm gonna take this benefit gimme brow um, I have the color medium slash deep um and like i said this is a three-step process but if i'm just like trying to be really really quick one day then i will just use this um it's a tinted brow gel so i just kind of run this through my brows um what i like about this and the beauty blogger that i follow that said this like she was right um it's samantha from battle ash beauty um, this since it's tinted it helps sorry I'm really congested it helps to show you like where the gaps in your brows are so I get little little gappies up here little gappies right here so now we got to go and fill them in but if you're just trying to like run out the door real quick one day then just use the gimme brow next is Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in dark brown I'm just using the little brush picking up some product and then what I'm doing right now is I'm outlining my brows. So I'm trying to get like the general skeleton of my eyebrows. I'll take this fully through them real quick. Make sure you let the gimme brow dry before you try and put anything else on it too. Um, so starting a little bit, not right where my brow starts because I don't want that to be super dark because that's when your brows look fake. Um, but starting kind of a little bit more inward, just drawing that line. Start on the bottom. Just following the natural line of the eyebrow and then let me pick up a little more so you can see that is the natural line on the bottom and then picking up a little bit more product I will go on the top very lightly um, when I first started using the dip brow uh, there was kind of a learning curve because I could be a little I, I was going to, I was using the pencil before um, and so you could be a little bit more heavy-handed with the pencil than you can with the pomade um, So my brows like <laughs> looked real rough for the first first few first few uses So with the top I'm basically just getting like the top arch because I don't want like a really harsh line Or anything like that along my top I just want to again draw the skeleton of where my upper brow is and then I will take the leftover product not fresh product but the leftover product on the brush and kind of go in at the beginning of my brow and I want the brush the brush to be flat not angled up but flat and just kind of drag that extra product through the beginning of your brow so that kind of fills that in a little bit without being harsh so there is that and if you want if you only want to be a two-stepper you can just take the spoolie and run the, bra run the product in the direction that your brows go. So in the front, go up, obviously. The front, what? The part that's closer to your nose. Just run it up, and then as your hairs start to grow diagonally, go diagonally up, and as they start to grow diagonally down, go diagonally down, and just distribute the rest of that product. And you can be done there. Or, if you wanna be a three-stepper, uh, 
that everybody want to do. Not really. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz Pencil. So I have the color dark brown. I'm just gonna take that. If you have any missing spots, I don't really have many today, but I do have right here is like my missing spot area. So I'm gonna take that. Sorry, I'm trying to get better lighting for you guys. Um, and just make small hair-like strokes in the direction that my hair grows to fill in any extra spots. Feel good? Yeah, felt good. All right, and there you have it. Um, if you wanna run through your brows with the Gimme Brow again, just to keep them in place, sometimes I do that. Um, yeah, that is how I do my eyebrows. It seems like a an arduous process, but when you think about it, your brows shape your face. So, do your brows. Brows should be happy. And here's a close-up of what they look like when they are finished. So, the steps again really quick. Step one, run through your brows with Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, shows you what spaces you need to fill in. Um, or if you're just running, if you need a quick brow, since it's tinted, it will give you a little bit of coverage if you're running out the door one day, but you want your brows to look nice. And the next step is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. Use this to outline the shape of your brows, create a skeleton of your brows, um, and be light-handed with this when you first use it, just because if you're not, you will deposit too much product and your eyebrows will look fake. <clears throat> um, and then the last product is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I just use this to fill in any leftover spots on my eyebrows, and there you have it. Um, so yeah, that is the finished look with my eyebrows. Um, I'm going to run to my hair appointment, and I will talk to you guys later in the video. Okay, so I ran by the bookstore to grab this little gift for Jen. I saw this yesterday. It's just like a little book of prayers. Like really small, um, little one-liners. But super weird. Like people are so weird. I was at the checkout line, and the guy, like, middle-aged, like, just middle-aged dude uh, at the register next to me looks at me and goes, you look like you're ready to have some fun today. What does that mean? I don't, I'm going to a hair appointment. Well, I'm wearing jeans and a jacket and a scarf. Like, how do, what does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. People are weird. Okay, time to go to this hair appointment. Oh, I'm so congested. And we have fresh, not only freshly done, but freshly washed hair. So I have, I have to do this thing where I crouch down again. Jen was telling me, Jen is my hairdresser, Jen was telling me about how the color that my lowlights are is a demi permanent. So she's like, so it'll wash out after like a certain number of washes, but it'll be like, it's supposed to be like a hundred washes, so you'll be good till next year. <laughs> I was like, you just know me so, so well. <laughs> oh man, I'm a garbage person. But it looks so pretty. I love it. And I love Jen. And I was kind of in a rush when I was showing you guys the little prayer book that I got her. But, like, part of the reason why I got her that, she is one of my sisters in Christ. I mean, obviously, you all are. But, like, before... Well, she was my hairdresser before I knew she was she was a fellow believer. And then just like the more that we would talk about stuff and like the more we would get to know each other, because she's done my hair for years, I got to know that she had a relationship with Jesus. And so I'm like, oh, that's been like a big bonding thing for me. I'm like, oh my gosh, like you get me on so many levels. So I just, I love her to pieces. And so I immediately thought of her when I saw that little book just it was a cute little something, and yeah, so that's why I got her that. But more heart breakage, warmage, toasty heartness. I stopped by my P.O. box. You guys. I can't express enough how much I love you guys. So I had some really sweet, really sweet notes from you guys. Um, from Cassidy from Seattle. I'm sorry if I'm saying where you're from. Like, is that creepy? Um, and then... Stephanie from Texas and <laughs> just so so sweet and then this is adorable this is all adorable and like I could cry I might cry don't cry Emily 
your makeup looks nice. But, um, and then from Nicolette from Texas. Look at this little Santa! It has my name on it. It is so precious. But seriously, guys, thank you so much to the three of you who sent me little, little gifts. It just... <sighs> It really does warm my heart knowing that I can have an impact on people and that you guys like watching my videos and that you take something away from watching my videos and like I really like that's always one of my goals is to like every time I want to be the kind of person that every time I come into contact with someone I give them something to walk away with um, not necessarily like a, a physical object but like a lesson or a new outlook on life or on yourself on anything like that so just like again thank you from the bottom of my heart because I wouldn't have the ability to reach the people that I do without you guys obviously because you are the ones that I'm reaching um, so for those of you who leave comments that you know you watch my videos every day like, you send me letters like this and say I watch your videos every day thank you for inspiring me like thank you for being you like I never thought that I would ever be thanked for being myself but, you know, that's the biggest thing that I want to teach you guys, I think, if anything, is to just, at all costs, stay true to yourself and always be yourself. Just embrace who and what you are, like, the good and the bad, and always be that. And, like, you can change, you can change a life. And, like, it's totally okay if the only life you change is yours, but, you know, whatever your goal is, whatever you want out of life, you can, you can do that. And you can, you can impact people. And you can be happy every single day even when things aren't perfect. So, I will probably end the filming here for today, uh, just because uh, it's, it's, it's Eric night. Um, so I'm going to end the filming for today, and I love you guys so much, and thank you guys for sending me letters, and thank you for loving me, and I love you back. So, I will see you guys tomorrow on day 20. I can't believe Vlogmas is almost over. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life afterward, but yeah, love you guys, and see you tomorrow. Bye.